today I've been pushed mentally, physically, spiritually and mentally. It, again, this is the doing of Riottero. I wish I'd never told him that I was going on a 2,000 kilometre cycle. If you think you can do 2,000 kilometre cycle, you're fucking crazy, mate. I'm not crazy, so screw it, just do it mentality, you know, just do it. The mentality, do you forgot, no, 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 no. That's why I brought you here, to test you through fire, water, and earth. Sounds like you're gonna roll me in some mud and set fire to me. <laughs> set fire. Like... Yeah, maybe something like that, something like that. One day, though. So this is Udonasan. It's a very sacred, very secretive shrine nestled in the mountains of Yamagata. I lived near here for three years, but I never actually got here. It's quite difficult to find. It's quite difficult to get to because of the secluded, secretive nature of the shrine. I've been meaning to come here. I have, but it's only today when Ryotaro is dragging me into some sort of training uh, practice that I finally had an excuse to come here and do something. Don't know what we're doing. Going to find out in a bit. Earlier this year, Ryotaro and I visited a secluded mountain temple of Hagoro, just outside the city of Soroka in Yamagata. It was here we trekked in silence through a snow-covered forest, in a meditative practice bringing us into the moment. It was honestly one of the most relaxing experiences I've had all year. Hagoro is just one of three sacred mountains in the region, and now in the height of summer, we've returned to visit the other two. And today we've come to conquer Gasa, a 2,000 metre mountain representing death, and Mount Yudono, the holiest of the three mountains, which represents rebirth. So we kitted out in Shiro Shorzoku, which literally means white clothing. Yep. When people pass away in Japan, they are wrapped up in white cloth, so it represents death. I feel dead because of these sandals. This is actually really nice because it's a really hot day. Yeah. But the sandals are made of what can only be described as rope, and it's tearing <laughs> straight through my feet. And torturing you. Yeah, this is. This is, this is tantamount well, to torture. Well, your feet is too big and you're too heavy, that's all. So, thanks, mate. Always a nice man, always full of compliments. So this is the starting point to Udonasan Mountain. We're gonna go to um, pray under the, uh, the waterfall. A waterfall? Waterfall. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Pray. So on a normal day, diving under a waterfall, <laughs> waterfall. with clothes on, no, but and yes, today. It's 33 degrees. That's so. right. And we're gonna be praying in front of fire. So with lots of praying, but in front of water, under the water, in front of fire. It'll be a nice day. <laughs> Don't sound so convinced. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Trudging upstream wearing the rope sandals of despair, I'd shortly come to regret my comments on the waterfall once I discovered our somewhat minimalistic outfits. Alright, so uh, we are now going into the waterfall and there is one problem um, we are facing right now. We need to take off almost all our clothes. You're gonna scare all the viewers. Exactly. Are you going to scare all the viewers? <sighs> so this is how you have to look before going into the waterfall. Right. And then hit by the water from above. <laughs> and uh, I know, how do you feel like it? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, like, it's a little bit revealing, but it does still cover everything that needs to yeah, be covered. Yeah, it does, it needs to cover it. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I don't know. This is something I, mean, I feel really strange. So we've been trekking up the mountain for 40 minutes now. And we're about to go into the waterfall. I'm wearing literally just a, some undergarments, a cloth, and some rope, some rope sandals, which are extremely painful. But 40 minutes ago, when we started this climb, I said to the camera that I'm excited about going in the waterfall, given how hot it is. But having just put my foot in it several times and seen how cold it is, I'm absolutely terrified. This is water that was snow a few hours ago, melted up on the top of the mountain, so it's extremely cold. And I have no idea how I'm gonna survive standing under it for a few minutes. So how do you feel? Well, um, I just put my foot into the water. In two seconds, it went numb. Oh it's that God. cold. Bloody hell. How nervous are you on a scale of one to 10? Uh, 12. <laughs> <laughs> Numb in just a matter of seconds and overwhelmed with the burning sensation of the icy water, I tried and failed to join in the prayer of thanks to the mountain in what must have been the longest minute of my life. So 
I'm not. How do you feel? How dare you? I mean, like. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? To call that cold would be an understatement. That was the coldest water I've ever gotten in my entire life. And my whole body went really numb. I couldn't get out. And my, my body was so numb after like one or two minutes in the water that I, I, I had trouble getting out. It was quite refreshing. It's quite nice, but yeah. I don't know if I'd uh, be keen to do it again. Historically shrouded in secrecy and closed to the public, in recent years, Yamabushi monks have started opening up their ancient rituals to the outside world. With more people suffering from stress than ever before, their practices have never felt more relevant. The rituals, the meditations, the ceremonies, they all seek to create a level of awareness, pushing you to stop, to be in the moment, and above all, to encourage you to have a greater appreciation for the world and the people around you. The Himatsuri Fire Festival is a ceremony to honour the dead and pay respects to our ancestors. After all, if it wasn't for those that came before us, we wouldn't be here ourselves. During the ceremony, participants are encouraged to write their wishes down on a wooden carving and place it in the fire, with the hope that their dreams will someday come true. So what did you wish for at the fire festival? Put me out my misery. Tell me. <laughs> I wish that. you can complete the 2,000 kilometer cycle. Really? What a nice young man. What did you really wish for? <laughs> okay, I, I I truly wish for the people stop calling me Risotro. But that's your name. No. That's who you are. No. Anyway, we're on Mount Gasan. Uh, the last of the three Dewasanza mountains. I've never conquered it, I've always wanted to climb it. For three years I lived on the Shonai Plain and I looked up at it and wondered what it would be like to climb it. And today, that dream is about to become reality. It's bonkers, it's the height of July, 35 degrees down on the ground. And there's people skiing up here. I knew Mount Gasan gets a lot of snow, but still, to be able to see people skiing at this time of year, knowing how hot it is down there, it's a bit weird, a bit of an anomaly. Look at that, they've got like hats and boots and rucksacks. It's like they're climbing Mount Everest or something. Whereas I've got a camera, a bottle of water, a stick and a cheese sandwich. And Nike shoes. Nothing more, nothing less. Like and for Nike, jogging, for jogging. Nike shoes that have seen better days. They're pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> uh, they need like a restaurant up here or something. Yeah, there is. Um, up, up at the peak. Genuinely? Yeah. Really? Yes. Is it, there's an actual restaurant? Yes, like Switzerland. I, I don't, don't know if you're joking or not. No, I'm not. You, you better not be, because now I feel super motivated to carry on. Oh god. Alright. It's starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit tougher than I thought it would be, to be honest. <laughs> this is fucking beginner's rope, mate. Oh well. It's the miracle of cup noodle. How often do you eat cup noodle? Once a month. You know? I feel very luxury having cup cup ramen. You up feel in the mountain. Very luxury. Yeah, eating something like this up in the mountains. So usually cup noodle costs about 200 yen, up yeah. here 500 yen. Comes at a premium given. I mean, it's pretty lucky that it's here in the first place. 550 yen. 550 yen. Thank you, Risotto. But uh, I mean, I don't think the cheese bread that I packed was enough anyway, so this is actually pretty welcome. Like, I never felt cloud like this close, this much, like coming to your face, yeah. straight, you know, straight, like. You've never felt cloud? I never felt cloud. This is it. This will be the uh, last steep hill till the uh, summit. summit. Welcome to the highest peak of Mount Gasan. Highest peak, and look at that view. Wait, it's 
Wednesday. <laughs> it's white. God damn it. The white is all we see. So we're on the, the summit of the ridge that runs across the top of the mountain. Exactly. We're thinking of flying drones, but with this wind, with this weather, it's impossible. Yeah. It'll be gone in about five seconds. Exactly. We're gone. <laughs> Absorb the wind. Appreciate the wind. Chris, how do you feel now? Broken. Spiritually, mentally, physically broken. I only found out at the end of our ridiculous climb and the bit coming down, which you can watch at the end of the video, we put it in the closing credits. It was horrific and you'll see why, because it involves climbing over a glacier in, in really not good shoes. It was 600 meters up and 600 meters down, but taking into account the other bits we had to do walking around the mountain, it was eight kilometers. Total. Eight yeah. kilometer walk. The three years that I lived in this area, I looked at Gaston every day and I thought, I wonder what it's like up there. And now I know, ridiculously cloudy. I, I do feel kind of yeah. quite happy. And I do feel like, yeah, I feel like I pushed myself. Right. Sitting behind a guy who's lit a fire <laughs> in a small wooden room, that takes some, some degree of spir spirituality. <laughs> and face risk. it. <laughs> If you're interested in doing any Yamabushi training at Mount Yudono or Mount Hagaro, you can find the details on where to stay and how to take part in the description box below. Both mountains do have accommodation available on site. But for now guys, as always, many thanks for watching. I Thank hope you. you enjoyed our little, little day of hell. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. I'm off to just roll over and, and die. Yeah. Yeah. Glacier, glacier, glacier. I'm the only one on this fucking mountain who's stupid enough to wear Nike trainers. Everyone's got mountain boots, spikes in. We're going down a fucking glacier. <laughs>